Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs Babyface on the beta for Warlords of Draenor with another Garrisons 101 video. In this series, what I do is I show you the various buildings that you can construct within your garrison, show you what they do, and then allow you to make a decision whether or not it deserves a position in yours. Today, I'm going to be looking at the lumber mill, what I class as a disposable building. A building that's going to have a lot of utility at the beginning of your garrison's life, but then could possibly be let go later. Now, at level one, it will allow you to mark small trees in Draenor for harvest. Harvested trees will gain timber, which you can then hand in for work orders, which will get you garrison supplies. At level two, you can mark medium trees, and at level three, you can mark large trees each one of course giving more timber as they go along so let me just drag the lumber mill into its position and voila we have our level one lumber mill looking quite basic but at the same time rather cool just like all the other buildings you will have a quest to set you on your way at the very beginning this will allow you to learn apprentice logging not only that it will get you 50 garrison resources in the process you can tell which trees you can use because they have this very light beige glow around them if they do they can be interacted with if they don't like the trees behind then they can't you'll also notice that it was literally on the doorstep of my garrison there it is in the background so that took all of 60 odd seconds or so hand in the timber sample and you'll get another quest this time to place a work order and to place a work order you need 10 pieces of timber so once more out into the world you go discover the small trees which you can mark and then start to chop them down once you've completed it, return to your lumber mill and hand your lumber in to Justin Timberlord. What a fantastic name. You need 10 pieces, of course, to complete a work order. Each work order takes four hours to be completed. And when they have completed, you will gain 20 garrison resources. So you can do six of these per day, which means 120 garrison resources every 24 hours. You can keep the work orders though queued, and so you get a constant flow of garrison resources every time you log into the game. So let's now push our lumber mill from rank one to rank two. The upgrade is going to cost 300 garrison resources, and 300 gold as well as that one hour of your time with which to do so you can gain the blueprint either through questing or by purchasing it from the blueprint vendor right next to the architect's table the aesthetic change making it look that little bit more lumber milly than before and you are once again greeted by a quest from Justin Timberlord. This one will actually allow you to gain the journeyman logging skill ability as well as 100 garrison resources for completing. So go out into the world, find a medium sized tree and cut it down. This is not really ecologically friendly this video game is it? But let's just keep ourselves grounded in fantasy for now. Again, the tree itself, the medium-sized tree, can be found literally right outside of your garrison. You don't have to travel very far at all, at all. Once more, you can just see the battlements of my garrison in the distance. So another two minutes have gone past since we completed this. So your lumber mill is now a churning, working producer of garrison resources. Every four hours, you gain 20. Every time you complete one of those quests, you get yourself a nice chunk, which will, of course, aid in the production of further buildings for your garrison. Now, to move it from a level 2 to a level 3 building, you have to complete an achievement just like any of the others. In this case, you must complete 75 work orders, but also complete two quests as well. Legacy of the Ancients and Reduction in Force. One of those starts in Spires of Iraq when you attempt to go and log one of those tree ancients that are standing around. To do so, it will start the quest and it will send you on your way around Draenor to defeat more of those ancients. The other one is where you see a huge piece of lumber mill just lying on the ground with a pair of legs kicking out from underneath it. Get one of your lumberjacks to free them and you'll gain that second quest. So with that achievement completed, you can go to the blueprint vendor by the architect's table and purchase it. 
do recall, every time you unlock a level 3 building, any of your alts can then purchase it. They themselves don't have to complete the achievement. And in this case, the level 3 blueprint costs 1,000 gold. So if I were to move the lumber mill to be upgraded, it would cost me 600 garrison resources, 500 gold, and an hour of my time. So let's now switch to my main character who has a level 3 lumber mill. So the building's definitely looking more impressive. Let's go collect some work orders which I've had on the go now for a few days. So I'm picking up 180 garrison resources and also I've managed to pick up 22 Apexis crystals. Those crystals being the main currency used in Warlords of Draenor. So a further quest is waiting for us and surprise surprise this time we have to go out and cut down a large tree which may be around Dranor somewhere. Again I'm just going to top up my work orders so I've always got a steady stream of garrison resources on the go every four hours and thankfully like so far with the small lumber and also the medium lumber the large tree is literally just outside the garrison's door. I had to go no more than a couple of minutes away with which to find one. The large tree of course requiring a larger lumberjack facility with which to cut it down. So in comes a sky golem and boom, the large tree sample has now been done, ready for turning in. I like the way the quest is called Tree Aside and you can clearly see it was on my garrison's doorstep. Your mini map will always show a yellow circle when you're out in the world which will tell you what lumber you can actually cut down, small, medium or large, so you're never going to find yourself looking around or wanting. So the lumber mill, it's an excellent disposable building. Use it possibly for a couple of months to gain a ton of garrison resources and then remove it and put something else in and utilise those garrison resources which you've accumulated over the last couple of months to build some other funky buildings, the stable, a barracks, who knows, the goblin gear works and all that kind of jazz. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Those links are in the description down below and I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care everybody. Bye bye.